This is also a truly wonderful vein section of Gem Chrysocolla. I haven't weighed it precisely because I don't have a scale that goes up this high. It's probably over 6,000 carats in weight. It has a very deep band of gemmy chrysocolla. There is the brittle chrysocolla on the margins of the vein. It does have some irregularity to it. It does wedge, as some veins will. And there is a nice zone going through the center of this, but it's not as thick. This is just under an inch in thickness, and you can see here that it's more like three and a half inches across. Too bad that some of this chrysocolla isn't combined with silica, because this would be a very pleasant color to make into a gem. This is a little fragment of rock. It doesn't go very far. This is where the vein split. But still, there's a useful amount of gem material in this rock. And if you're going to make a large piece of jewelry, you want to have one that has very similar color tones. This one looks uh, quite midnight blue, but it's obviously quite nice. It seems to be a little bit underexposed in this light, and it looks very dark compared to what I'm seeing on the specimen itself. Mentioned that it has some greenish boundary, looks a little bluer on the edges, and it has a nice uniform blue in the interior. The specimen is thick, has some vein section coating the surface. There's that little piece of rock that's in there. It stops just at that point. So there's only a small amount of material that wouldn't be completely usable. You'd have to take that little bit out, but you could get something on the top that's a fairly nice thick piece. That's a nice thick piece. It goes all the way around. It has a lot of utility as a piece of gem rough.